Hello, I'm Ted Goshman for the Moines Business Channel Market Report. Today, we're discussing Twitter and the future of social media. Joining me are Katie McKenna and Tom Manfred. In the past two years, there has been two massive IPOs with that of Facebook and now that of Twitter. Who do you feel has been doing better on the market? Well, the best player in the market clearly is Twitter from an IPO standpoint. I mean, the whole NASDAQ debacle with Facebook, that was in the past, but Twitter, how the smoothness of transition and coming to market and how well it was uh, responded to from Wall Street. It's just been a great, it's been great to see it come to market, and it's a great way for the year to end off with such a good IPO. Katie, do you agree with Tom on this point? I must say, he does have a very good point. After the whole Facebook debacle, I think people were really weary about technological companies in the market, and I think Twitter really proved to investors that, you know, these kind of companies can actually do well. What effect do you think Twitter's IPO is going to have on the confidence of future social media IPOs, Katie? I definitely think it will have better confidence because uh, a lot of people were really disappointed with the way that Facebook did because there was so much hype. And now that Twitter came out as a public stock, I think people feel a little bit more confident about it and just, you know, through the way they went about the whole process. One of Facebook's biggest issues was converting their ad revenue over to the mobile platform. How do you feel uh, Twitter has been able to address this issue and fix it? Twitter is basically built for the mobile platform. I mean, 140 characters, that's not something you sit down and you write on your laptop or on your PC. That's just a quick message you send out to friends and whoever is listening. So they need to capitalize on that ad service on their mobile devices by somehow having that ad next to my Twitter feed and me wanting to actually click on it. Because most of their revenues right now is advertising. That's all they're making money off of. Katie, it's only 140 characters. How are you going to be able to stay with that for so long? Won't you eventually get tired of it? I don't think so, Ted, because it's the one characteristic that really makes Twitter unique. You know, you're only given 140 words and, you know, you got to run with it. That's how even with ads, they have promoted tweets. I think that's something that really stands out apart from Facebook, because on Facebook, you might see a couple ads on the side of the page. But, you know, if you're going through your uh, Twitter feed, you'll see, oh, here's a tweet. And, you know, it's an ad and you don't even realize it half the time. Yeah, it's that fun aspect, that, that quickness of Twitter that you just send out short little messages. And same thing, you know, with Instagram. It's just short little pictures that you send between friends. Other than Facebook, you got to sit down and you got to look at it. You know, a bunch of comments from your 400 plus friends are on there. Are you really going to sit through there and look through all of them? Or are you just going to look through the couple of people on your Twitter feed? Katie, where do you see Twitter going from here? I definitely see that there's a lot of potential. Currently, now there are more businesses who are going on Twitter. Even colleges are now getting their word out and connecting more to the students by Twitter. I really think they do have a lot of potential. Some very great points today. Katie, Tom, thank you very much. I have a feeling we'll be talking about Twitter more in the future. I'm Ted Goshman for the Malloy Business Channel Market Report. We'll see you next time.